Welcome to the married people meeting. <laughs> I never wanted to be a husband. I'm gonna tell you right now, ladies, there's not a man in this room that wants to be a husband. No man woke up one day and was like, you know what, I'm tired of making my own decisions. I would like to be questioned all the time about everything I do. Why'd you park there? I don't know why you park there, why? Why would you park there? I don't know why. Oh, I can't take it, man, I lose it. Fine, tell me where to park, boss. Tell me where you're gonna park this car, please. Oh my God, you're mad. You have anger problems. No, I have wife problems. Because I park this car all the time by myself. I never get mad. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's you. I've never once parked my car and said, why did I park here? Why would I park here? Oh, she's perfect, my wife. Never makes any mistakes. But this is the same person that walks around our house every day going, call my phone, can you call my phone? I, I, don't, I don't know where my phone is, can you? Babe, just call it, babe, call my phone. Ah, oh, it's in my purse. Ah. I had it on silent. Now where's my keys? I don't know where my keys are. Uh, she's always late, my wife. I'm late. I'm late, I can't find my keys. I'm gonna have to take your keys. Where are your keys? On the hook that says keys. That's, that's where my keys are. Oh, she'll take my keys. Leave me at home trying to find her keys. 20 minutes later, I'll get a phone call from her. Oh, I have both sets of keys. I'm sorry. No, sorry people bring their husband their keys back. That's, she's not coming back. I'm gonna tell you, I, she's, not, she's gonna do whatever she has to do. Now let me tell you something, people, if I have both sets of keys, it doesn't matter what I'm doing. I better bring her her keys back. I could be a heart surgeon doing heart surgery. I'm like, fellas, I gotta go. But Dr. Trevino, if you leave, he'll probably die. Well, me or him, so. My wife has a hair appointment. Oh, the woman can't stop spending money. It used to be Macy's, now it's Amazon. Yeah, go fuck yourself, Amazon. Oh, there's always a box at the house. She tries to sneak it past me. Where are you going? Oh, I needed it. I needed it. <laughs> I like when the both of us pull up to the house and there's a box at the door and Captain Evil over here acts surprised. <laughs> oh my God. What could it be? <laughs> Maybe it's for you. Really? The FedEx guy doesn't even know I live here. <laughs> for me. Oh, everybody, she buys something. All her friends, all her friends sell something. Oh, all of them, they're consultants. They're consultants. They, they want me to be on their team. They want me to be on their team. Oh, she'll come home with candles and makeup. Go, Where'd you get that? My friend, my friend. She, she sells it. Oh, she came home one day with essential oils. Have you heard of this? A box of bullshit. It's a box of bullshit. And then it gives you a book to tell you what the bullshit does. She was all excited, look what I got. Now I can heal us. I have rosemary, tangerine, lavender, now we can sleep. I get the flu, right, I got the flu. This one pulls her book out, tell me what you got. Tell you what you, why don't you go to CVS and get me some NyQuil, Harry Potter. I don't need a potion, woman. I need medicine. What are you, a witch? Good. Get on your broom, go to CVS, and get me some night cream. <laughs> oh, if, 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 it's, if, it's my, if it's my idea, it's wrong. If I came up with the plan, it's wrong. We went to go buy furniture, okay? We bought the furniture. 
The man informs me it's going to be $400 to deliver the furniture. I inform him to go fuck himself. <laughs> I made the decision in front of my wife. My wife heard what I said. She said nothing at the store. We get in the car to go pick up the U-Haul that I need. Here we go. She's over there in the passenger seat. I go, what? She goes, nothing. I go, not nothing. I can feel it in my balls. I said, what? That's what she says to me like I'm stupid. Why did you get a U-Haul so far away? Does my wife think that I called U-Haul? No, 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 further. No, that one's too close. No, I need the furthest U-Haul you got. Why? Because it pisses her off, that's why. And we haven't fought in a while, I'm trying to make this Saturday worse. Can you? Uh... Oh, something as easy as going through the drive-through with my wife, it becomes a thing. And I try to be nice, right? I try to be patient. I try to get on top of it. Hey, baby, be ready. Okay. One more car, it's gonna be our turn. Know what you want. Oh, well, what do they have? What do they have? It's McDonald's. It's the same thing since we were four. Oh, it's our turn to order. She acts like she's never seen this menu. She has to lean over me. Do they have whole wheat buns? Whole wheat buns? We're about to eat trash. It's garbage. You can't take whole wheat buns and then pick stuff out of the garbage and then put buns around it and make it healthy. I don't say that because I love my wife. What comes out of my mouth is, do you have whole wheat buns? <laughs> Look at that, baby, they have whole wheat buns. Oh, okay, I'll have nuggets. Oh, it's not her fault. She blames her sign. I'm a Virgo. That... I'm sorry, that's how Virgos are. We... Oh, even a nice restaurant. And we try, you know, we try to go on date nights. Even the nice restaurants becomes a thing. We get dressed up as soon as we sit down. You want to share a salad? Wouldn't it be nice if the two of us shared a salad? No. When have you ever seen me get off the couch, go to the kitchen, chop myself up a salad, and then give you half? I don't say that, it's in my head. What comes out of my mouth is, yes. She orders the salad that we're supposed to share. The waiter says ranch or blue cheese, and she looks at me like I have the answer. I picked the salad. I know not to answer. But then I think to myself, well, maybe today's my day. Maybe today I get to make a decision for us. You know what, buddy? We're gonna do blue cheese. No, ranch. Suck! You gotta laugh though, I'll tell you that. If you wanna make it in marriage, you better be able to laugh. And if you can't laugh, call it a day. My wife is funny, man, and it helps. My wife made me laugh so hard one time, I almost wrecked the car. I had to do a radio interview at six o'clock in the morning. I work at night. I told the wife, I said, why don't you come with me? You can help me drive back. My wife said, okay. I'm driving back, right? And my wife goes, are you okay to drive? I said, yeah, I'm good, but I could use a Red Bull or a Monster. And I turn around and she goes, Rah! You scared the crap out of me. You almost killed both of us, and that is hilarious. Today's a good day. <laughs> here's, here's what happened, all right? We're watching TV. All right, me and my wife watch a lot of TV now that we have a two-year-old. Real late night, like 9, 9.30. <laughs> we usually watch whatever she wants to watch. I pretend I don't like it, but I kind of do. Every time I sit down, I'm like, this again? Well, I can change it. Let's just see how the house comes out. <laughs> if I have to watch another episode of that damn fixer-upper, I'm gonna kill myself. 
I don't know why we watch it. Every episode's the same. We're gonna put some shiplap. Let's go ahead and put some shiplap. How about some shiplap? That's a good idea. What if we put some shiplap? How about some more shiplap? Where's my dumbass husband, Chip? <laughs> but there I am, pick the porch, get the porch. So we're watching TV. This show comes on called Strange Obsessions. If you have not seen this show, it's where people do weird stuff they can't stop. The episode that I'm watching, the woman is drinking gasoline. And every time she would drink gasoline, my wife would get concerned for her. <gasps> She's gonna die. And then a doctor came on and the doctor goes, if she continues this behavior, she will probably die. And my wife goes, I told you. Oh, you're so smart. They come back from commercial break. This poor woman's laid out on the carpet. My wife goes, oh my God, she's dead. I said, no, baby, she just ran out of gas. <laughs> and you gotta repeat it. She ran out of gas. You gonna suck my dick? No, okay. I, I just thought I made you laugh. It's before 10 o'clock. No, okay. Look. You gotta throw a suck my dick out there every once in a while. I do, I walk to the house, suck my dick? No, okay. Good. Just making sure, it's my favorite. But. If that doesn't work, I try to trick her. Right, like I come out of the shower without a towel, all badass. I didn't hear you, what'd you say? Oh, I didn't say anything. Oh, I thought you said you wanted to suck my dick. I thought... It's already out, it's clean and delicious. I like when I get home and the wife's like, I'm having a glass of wine. Yes, you are. I'm gonna go wash my dick, I'll be right back. You gotta laugh, you also have to have things that you and your wife can enjoy together, right? There's things that you and your wife need to have in common. One of the things that my wife and I have in common we both like to watch other couples fight in public. <laughs> it brings us closer together. Right? Oh, we'll stop whatever we're doing. My wife's good at it. We'll be walking, all of a sudden she'll just go, look, 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 look. She doesn't even move her lips. Look, 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 look. I'm like, what? Shh, behind me, behind me. Then she'll say something like, call me, call you. Yes, yeah, so we can stay here and like, act like we're on the phone. There we are having a fake conversation. Yeah, whoa, yes. <laughs> we don't want to leave the fight. We want to hear what they're fighting about. Because we want to see if what they're fighting about is just as stupid as the things that we fight about. <laughs> now, the stupidest fight I ever saw between a couple, all right, was at the grocery store. I'm at the grocery store. I don't know where my wife is. She's there. I don't know where she is. I'm in the chip aisle, and it's going down. And it's an old couple. And when I say old, I'm talking about like in their 80s old. And the old man goes, I want some salt and vinegar potato chips. And the old lady goes, you can't have salt and vinegar potato chips, John, because you have high blood pressure. The doctor said no more salt. Because I don't give a good goddamn, Brenda, what the doctor said. I want some salt and vinegar potato chips. She goes, get the sun chips. I don't want no damn sun chips. I make my own money. I want to get what I want, damn it. I'm texting my wife, hurry, chips, chips, chips. <laughs> By the time my wife got there, John had already won, he had his chips, he was walking off, I don't give a damn. And Brenda was behind him, John, listen to the doctor, John. I hugged my wife, I said, look baby, it never ends. We got in the car, we got in the car, my wife goes, what happened in the chips? I get into it too, right, I'm like, all right, check it out. The dude was like, I want some salt and vinegar potato chip. And the old lady's like, you can't have salt and vinegar potato chip because the doctor said that you have high blood pressure and because the doctor said... And then my wife goes, oh my God, maybe he has high blood pressure. <laughs> I said, well, maybe he's a man and he wants salt and vinegar potato chip. <laughs> well, maybe she's just trying to help him. I said, maybe he has high blood pressure because his wife's always on his ass. Maybe that's why. <laughs> I'm like, oh man, I think we're having their fight. <laughs> we weren't even fighting today. What just happened? That's how much me and my wife fight. We will fight other people's fights. <laughs> when we run out of fights, we're like, bring us another one. 
What are y'all fighting about? We'll fight about that. I don't know, man. We get divorced about every six months. The last time we almost got divorced was over trash bags. You laugh, but she won't take out the trash. Now, don't get me wrong, ladies. I know it's my job. I saw your faces. I know I'm the trash man. I get it. But every once in a while, when I'm not around, can you help daddy out a little bit? She won't, even if it's full. She'll just put trash around the trash. As if to say, hey, stupid, do your job. You know where I draw the line? I don't replace the bag. If I'm the trash man, she's the bag lady. I don't care. I don't know, man, we get divorced about every six months. The last time we almost got divorced was over trash bags. You laugh, but she won't take out the trash. Now, don't get me wrong, ladies. I know it's my job. I saw your faces. I know I'm the trash man. I get it. But every once in a while, when I'm not around, can you help daddy out a little bit? She won't, even if it's full. She'll just put trash around the trash. As if to say, hey, stupid, do your job. You know where I draw the line? I don't replace the bag. If I'm the trash man, she's the bag lady. I don't care. So here's what happened. I had something to throw away. I got to the trash can, there was no bag. At that point, I had to make a decision. Put the bag in myself like a little bitch. Or throw it away anyway and send out a message. I decided to send out a message. I threw it away and I went to the living room and I prepared myself. Oh, I knew she was coming. I was not ready for her to bring the entire trash can with her. Oh, she brought the whole trash can. <laughs> Why did you do that? I was ready. I said, because it's not my job. I'm the trash man, you're the bag lady. Of course, my wife, <laughs> nobody has jobs. If you see something in this house that needs to get done, just do it. <laughs> really? I said, when's the last time you took out the trash? Oh my God, you're yelling at me. <laughs> oh, now we're fighting about the way that I talk to her. No more about trash bags. I just want to know when the last time is you took out the trash. I don't like the way you're talking to me. But... <laughs> when is the last time that you took out the trash? You're being an asshole. <laughs> and then that leads to, I'm so tired of this. I'm like, I'm tired of this too. I don't even know why we're married. I don't even know why we're married either. I'm a file for a divorce. We'll bring the papers, I'll sign them. I don't give a damn. <laughs> Keep the house. I know, because it's in my name, because your credit sucks. Well, <laughs> that's why I did it. An hour later, I'm like, I'm hungry. You hungry? Let's go eat, come on. <laughs> As I'm putting the bag, come on! <laughs> I wish we could fight like that. We don't fight like that anymore. Now we have a baby. So now we fight like this. I'm so tired. I'm tired. Shh, you wanna wake up the baby? Cause you're gonna wake up the baby. I don't care if the baby, shh. I'm a file for divorce, bring the paper. <laughs> My wife has jobs, she does things, you know? She does the laundry. I, I, now look, it's not a woman man thing, all right? I don't mind doing the laundry. She doesn't like the way I do the laundry. I pick it all up and I throw it in there. My wife has nine different loads. The towels go by themselves and the whites and the more whites and the less whites. But she complains every day. All I hear is the laundry. I'm so tired of all the laundry in this house. I do the trash. I don't walk around the house going, the trash. There's so much trash in this house. Let me show, it's 2018. Let me show you how easy it is to wash the laundry. Look. Magic. 
all I hear the laundry. First of all, honey, all of this is yours. I wear the same jeans all week. I use one towel a month. You use nine a day. But my wife, the laundry. I could understand if you had to go to the river and wash it on a rock. I could understand how you could be a little upset. Because I watch the Discovery Channel, people. And I see women with baskets on their head walking to the river. None of them are going, the laundry. <laughs> Another one of my jobs, anything outside. If it's outside, it's my job. If it's outside and it comes inside, I take it back outside. <laughs> oh, my wife will scream from the other side of the house, there's a spider in here. I have to go over there in a hurry and act like I give a shit. Where, show it to me, where? <laughs> It's right there, kill it. Go get my weapon, the napkin. <laughs> That's what I use, I use a napkin and I kick the shit out of it. Cause I'm a little scared myself. <laughs> Sometimes I look in the napkin, the spider's not in there. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> my wife, did you get it? <laughs> I'm a good husband, I lied to her. I got him. <laughs> you go ahead and sleep tonight. I'm not. That spider saw my face. She has another job. She's our interior decorator. Look, I gotta admit, man, we have a beautiful home and that's because of my wife. Because she's an interior decorator. She has a degree in interior decorating. She got it on Pinterest. She has another job. She's our interior decorator. Look, I gotta admit, man, we have a beautiful home and that's because of my wife. Cause she's an interior decorator. She has a degree in interior decorating. She got it on Pinterest. <laughs> oh, she's always like, babe, look, we, I'm gonna do that. I just need some moss. I need moss. I need uh, bob wire. I need pallet. Oh, she scared me. One time we're driving down the street, right? Normal day. And all of a sudden she goes, oh my God, stop. I go, oh shit, are you okay? She goes, there's pallets. I need pallets. <laughs> Get those pallets. In the back of a grocery store stealing pallets for Captain Evil. <laughs> She's in the front seat on her iPad. <laughs> Hurry up, it's hot out there. <laughs> My hair's gonna frizz. Hurry! <laughs> well, she came home one day with a dresser that somebody threw away. She was all excited too. Babe, come here, look what I got. I go, what is that? She's, oh, it's gonna look like this. I go, oh, no, it's not. <laughs> She's, yes, it is, it's my DIY. Oh, she woke up Saturday all badass in her DIY outfit. My wife bought clothes to mess up. Cause she has to look cute for her Instagram photo shoot. 15 minutes in the living room before the DIY. <laughs> DIY day. <laughs> Just to delete all of them. No, no. <laughs> oh, she'll get me involved. Babe, take a picture of me. But get high, get high. <laughs> no, get on the counter, you're short. Get high. Who is that? <laughs> I wish I was married to my Instagram wife. <laughs> oh, she was in the garage for 20 minutes. Back in the house. Oh. It's a lot harder than I thought. Can you help me? No, baby, it's a do it yourself. I love her though. So now I'm outside like an asshole. <laughs> now she's my boss. Sand it more there, sand it. That doesn't look like the picture. I mean, look at the picture. Look at that, I'll be inside. Call me when it looks like the picture. <laughs> Six hours of my Saturday. Four and a half trips to Home Depot. 
$692 later. I could have went out and bought three of these. She has the balls to come outside. Hashtag DIY, no woman. You tag me, woman, you tag me. We have a, we have a little boy, man. We are so excited about it. It's a little blessing, man. There he is right there, it's little my son. Right there, yeah. Yeah, it's awesome, man. We, uh, he's two years old, almost two and a half. My, my wife says now that we need a daughter. And I'm like, oh, no, we don't. I can't imagine my wife having a backup bitch. Like a little her following her around the house. You're right, he doesn't do anything around here. With a big FedEx box and a little FedEx box. Out there. <laughs> the best part, when my, when my son started to talk, his first word was daddy, and I was so happy. And then my wife got excited. She was, oh, he's gonna say mommy next. He calls her babe, it's hilarious. <laughs> oh, there's nothing funnier than, than my two-year-old walking around the house going, babe. <laughs> Paw Patrol, babe. <laughs> if that doesn't work, he uses her real name. Renee! <laughs> I got poop. <laughs> it's the best. But now that he talks, man, he says things to my wife that I can't believe he gets away with. So my wife's telling me a story, right? My son is sitting on her lap facing her, okay? Halfway through my wife's story, my son takes his little hand and he puts it on her lips and he said, babe, stop talking. <laughs> I was so proud. I said, finally, somebody said it. I was like, wait a minute, I think my son's a mind reader. My wife, she looked at me like, do something. And I was like, <laughs> But that went from that to, oh, no. I mean, look, don't get me wrong. I love my wife, but her stories suck. They take forever. There's no punchlines. So she'll go off on a tangent that has nothing to do with the original story. It's the worst. It took her two minutes the other day to tell me that she went to Chick-fil-A, and it was good. She came home all excited. Oh my God, I went to Chick-fil-A, it was so good. But first of all, let me tell you, I was in the car and I was driving and I was like, oh my God, I wanted to go to Chick-fil-A because I was so hungry because I've been on that diet. But I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do it, I deserve it. I've been so good to myself. And I saw a Chick-fil-A and I was like, oh my God, God wants me to have a Chick-fil-A. So I went ahead and I pulled into that Chick-fil-A, but it was closed. And I was like, oh my God, why is it closed? It's not Sunday. Because you know me, I always crave Chick-fil-A on Sundays and they're closed and I don't know why I always crave Chick-fil-A on Sundays, but I do and they're always closed. But it wasn't Sunday, it was Saturday. And I was like, why are they closed? It was a new Chick-fil-A. It's not even open yet. So I was like, well, forget it. I guess I'm not going to have Chick-fil-A. So I got in the car and I was like, you know what? God does not want me to have Chick-fil-A. I'm going to go ahead and stick to my diet. And then I saw another Chick-fil-A and I was like, oh my God, God does want me to have Chick-fil-A. So I went ahead and pulled into that Chick-fil-A and the girl that was taking my order, oh my God, she had like the cutest little earrings. They were like little Christmas trees. And I was like, oh my God, where did you get those? And she said Hobby Lobby, but there's no way that she got them at Hobby Lobby because I was just at Hobby Lobby and they don't sell earrings at Hobby Lobby. I mean, maybe they sold her the stuff to make them. I mean, you can make them at Hobby Lobby, but she didn't buy them at Hobby Lobby. So anyway... It was good. We put them in daycare. They don't warn you about daycare. The first two weeks are rough. I had not taken them to daycare, okay? I work nights. My wife does mornings. One night, my wife says, tomorrow, take them to daycare. I said, I can do that. Okay, I get to daycare. As soon as my son sees the daycare, he goes, no, daddy, no. Please, daddy, no. And I was like, what are they doing to you at daycare? Show me on this doll. <laughs> I called my wife right away. I said, babe, he said, no, daddy, no. My wife's a savage. She goes, drop him off, he'll get over it. I was like, ooh. You gotta stay, buddy. I'm just the assistant coach. Your mom's the head coach. He cried the whole time, man. It hurt me. I left him in the room, he was crying to me. Daddy, no. I was crying back to him, I'm sorry. But your mother is scary. I don't take him to daycare anymore, no sir. I make the wife do it. 
I pick him up like a hero. I show up every day all badass. I came as soon as I heard, son. Let's go. Who left you here? I woke up, you were gone. What happened? Babe, that's how she is. Let's go. Look, man, I will admit to you right now, being the dad is the best job in the world. Ladies, you got it tough. I will admit that. So if your wife takes care of your kids, give her a round of applause, man. Women are amazing. Thank you. My wife, my wife's amazing. She does a great job with that little boy, but recently she had a mommy meltdown. I don't know if you've ever seen one of those. It scared all of us. It was a normal day at the house. I'm sitting on the couch like I do watching TV. I don't know what she's doing. And all I hear is my son go, babe, 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 babe. And remember, I'm trying to watch TV, so I'm like, babe. <laughs> and my son goes, babe, babe. And then my wife just goes, I can't do this anymore. I was like, oh man, you're gonna have to. We just got him. Look, man, I will admit to you right now, being the dad is the best job in the world. Ladies, you got it tough. I will admit that. So if your wife takes care of your kids, give her a round of applause, man. Women are amazing. Thank you. My wife, my wife's amazing. She does a great job with that little boy, but recently she had a mommy meltdown. I don't know if you've ever seen one of those. It scared all of us. It was a normal day at the house. I'm sitting on the couch like I do watching TV. I don't know what she's doing. And all I hear is my son go, babe, 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 babe. And remember, I'm trying to watch TV, so I'm like, babe. And my son goes, babe, babe. And then my wife just goes, I can't do this anymore. I was like, oh man, you're gonna have to. We just got him. I was scared, I was like, oh. I looked at my son like, what'd you do? I felt bad, my wife was crying. I go, you okay? She goes, I'm not okay. I'm so tired all the time. I haven't done my nails done in I don't know how long. And now when I exercise, I pee a little. And I'm growing a beard. I was like, I didn't want to bring it up. I felt bad, I felt bad. So I told her, I said, what can I do for you? How can I help you? And my wife crying, she says, can you just take care of your child? For one day, can you do one day without me so that I can go and be home? One day, I can do one day. I'm a man, people. I stepped it up, I did, I called my mom. I said, Mom, you better get over here, man. I'm scared. I'm Mexican. My mom showed up with her own mop and her own mop bucket. That woman was mopping with one arm. She had the baby in the other. The washer and dryer were both going at the same time. I never seen anything like that at my house. I didn't even know they could work together like that. We're dealing with a professional. Before my wife got home, I told my mom, you gotta go, ma. <laughs> my wife got there, people, the house smelled like fabuloso. <laughs> Food was on the table. The clothes were folded real nice on the bed. My kid was asleep. I looked at my wife and I said, that's how you do it. <laughs> she goes, you called your mom? I go, yeah, that's how you do it. And if you two got along, maybe she'd come over more often. <laughs> Always gotta have your parents here.